Hi, this is Diana Sosa, your favorite astro nerds in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. If you are like me, that you are sick and tired of finishing your imaging session and going out the next day or in the morning or late in the afternoon to get your flat frames, well, you know very well this is the solution, a flat field panel. This is the Aurora flat field panel and it is made in Germany and uh, I think uh, so far it has been a very good uh, product but I want to show you the results how it works and uh, I want to do some comparisons between the, the ones that I took before with my homemade flat field panel versus the Aurora plant panel. As you can see, I have it already installed on my um, Skywatcher Quattro telescope, which is amazing, by the way. And uh, let's just go ahead and start uh, testing here in the sequence generator. And let's see uh, the uh, calibration uh, wizard and see how it looks. So I am going to start with the red color. Uh, by the way, I am using the new um, Optolong RGB filters. So this is going to be an interesting test and let's see how it, they look, okay? So let's just go ahead and start uh, with one by one and two by two, which is normally what I use, what I photograph. I am using the default settings on the uh, calibration wizard. I'm not changing anything. The goal here is to do this faster and very nice. I, I want better flat frames. I don't want to be measuring lights. I don't want to do any of that. Oh, that looks very good. Okay. So it already accepted the one by one at 0 0.42 seconds. Okay, let's see the two by two. That's pretty quick. I am impressed so far. It took me a long time to do this with my um, homemade do-it-yourself flat flat uh, flat panels. So okay, so there you go. The red color is already done. Very good. So the next color is green. Let's see what happens. Greens, you know, captures a lot of light. Go. Wow, oh, that's fast. So it already got the... No, not yet. It's almost there. Still working on the one by one. There you go. Getting closer. Ready. Oh, it already got it. 0 0.33 seconds in the meantime. Let's just uh, have a delicious cocktail. Cheers. And it's ready. So green color is done. Very good. So let's go to the next color, azul. Okay, azul took a little bit longer but it seems that already got it at 0 0.23 seconds i take that pretty i don't want to be measuring and waiting for the sun and the sunset and the no 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 we, we just need to do with something like this let's let's go simple fast and straight to the point <laughs> so now it's time for my <laughs> One of my favorite filters, the Opto Long Filter Extreme. <laughs> Seriously, who, who, who comes up with those names? <laughs> you have to have fun. Uh, there's a lot of stress in this hobby. It is a hobby. Cheers. I am in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. There you go. That's my Opto Long. Come on up to, oh, yes, 2.18 seconds. 
Good job, Opto. Wow, this is really cool. I like Opto long a lot. <laughs> it's time for O3. Um, oxygen. We like oxygen. Um, the Hubble palette filters are taking a little longer. Maybe we can have Adam Block to explain to me why. <laughs> ah, well, it's going faster than what I thought. Well, how can that be? 2.21 second at... Is it binding or binning? Very good. So we're done with Oxygen 3. And uh, it, that was quick. <laughs> And by the way, I have here uh, the word binning or binding, and I want to see uh, how you pronounce it. It's binning. Say it again. Binning. Binning. One by one binning, two by two binning. Very good. Next, it's my favorite filter and color. Filter. Huh. Or huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and test and see what happens with huh, one by one and two by two. Come on. I think ha is amazing. <laughs> okay, time for another taste of my margarita. So we already have one by one and ha. Huh? We're working on 2 by 2 on ha. Huh? <laughs> it's ready. Very good. There you go. Let's see what happens with luminance. Hey. Okay. We're getting there. This this one should be very fast as expected. And we got the one by one binning. And we got it at 1.05 seconds. And you can read all the information right there for the uh, uh, other astronauts, but I am your favorite astronaut. So now it's time for the uh, comparisons and I'm going to show the flat frames that I took before with my homemade flat fill panel and the Aurora flat fill panel using the uh, up to long filters. Let's check it out. Time for green. Green, the Aurora flat fill panel on the right is definitely much better. Uh, it is darker. It's a very a more even. And you can see on the left side, my homemade uh, panel did okay, but there are some problems here. And the Aurora, it's so beautiful, even and nice. I did a pretty good job with the uh, homemade uh, panel on the, huh? but the Aurora is still better. Um, you can see a little bit darker, uh, it's more even, but you tell me, let me know, talk to me, you like it, can you see the difference? My homemade panel is showing some, some problems here, I think. It's, it's okay, of course, you know, because your photo is always going to be pretty much cropped and framed in, in the middle. But I like the Aurora flat, flat panel. I mean, it, it looks better. This one looks better. Some areas are almost identical, but overall the entire frame looks much better. Same story. Okay, on the left, it looks brighter. That's my homemade panel. We have some little problems here. On the right is the Aurora. Looks really nice, even, the color a little bit darker. I like it. Oxygen um, also is very close to what I did with my homemade panel. But still, the uh, Aurora frame looks better. 
more even, pretty much the same results as the other ones. The color is a little bit darker and it's even. Okay, this is the um, homemade. And this is the Aurora. It's up to a long extreme. <laughs> okay, so on the left side is my homemade up to a long extreme. It's okay. It did okay for a while. But the Aurora up to long extreme flat frame is way much better. And I like it. Yes, I like up to long <laughs> extreme. <laughs> Red, oh, on red, we can definitely see a difference. Uh, left side always is the homemade. Um, some bleh here. <laughs> I never know how to pronounce that. Um, and on the right, this one looks brighter. Uh, the Aurora looks brighter, it's completely even, looks really nice. But you tell me, you let me know. Tell me, talk to me. You like it? Just write it down right here. I really like this product. It was, it's very easy to use. Sequence generator, flat frame wizard was fast. A panel for my telescope, it was around $300 because I have a 10 inch telescope. Uh, there's different prices, different sizes. The Aurora flat field panel is a great product. I like it. I recommend it. Thank you for watching.